Hi, it's Spyro here at Binocore.org, and we're back with Ticket Diaries, Episode 3. This week's episode is called Diamonds. Now, as you see after last time, where well, I was trying to find diamonds and failed to, you might have guessed I actually found some this time. Not, no spoilers, don't want to ruin the whole thing, but it's where I found them, which is the interest. Now, I say interesting, but it may just be interesting for me, because I've always stood by diamonds are found just above lava pools. Now, the lower pool is commonly found around layer 10, so layer 11 and 12 is where I always find diamond. I've had lots of people disagree with me on this, saying that, oh, you know, that's the only place I'm looking, so it's the only place I find them. That could be true, but I did some research, and it's true, layer 12 is the most common place on Minecraft to find diamond. Okay, so I've now got my hands on some diamond, only four diamond that I've picked up here, as you can see, four blocks. Um, I need seven for what it is that I'm planning to do. And that's a minimum seven. It's six to do all of the uh, crafting and one template for the alchemy. So I'm going to have to continue on. I mean, there's other resources I can find along the way, but without having these seven diamond, I can't move on to the plans that I have. Now, a short time later, I come across one of those lava pools I've been talking around. Now, this is around layer 10, so. By my calculations, if I mine just above the lava, being careful not to fall in, as that's a common hazard when mining around lava, I should find diamond. Now this is should. Now I don't know how far in what direction I'm likely to find diamond, but just that it's on that layer, so I could be here for hours trying to find it if I'm not killed by a creeper beforehand. So now it's time for some times four speed mining. And I've written an awesome dubstep song just for it, and it goes a little bit like this. I think some good mining music this definitely. But we eventually come across some diamond. Will it be enough? I think that's eight. That like eight. I think I found eight. I think I found enough diamond to actually get on and play this game, but not straight away. There's more stuff I want to do before I get onto the energy condensing, alchemy sort of thing. Um, first off, I want to build a better house. I live in a hole in the ground. It's not that brilliant. So we're going to put the diamond safely aside in a chest, and I'm going to make my digs, my accommodation look a bit better if I can get out of this cave alive with all my diamond. I always have this problem when trying to get out of caves. I lose my way and normally I follow torches but then I suddenly get like this and not know where I am and end up going deeper and deeper or turn a corner and get creeped. There's always a creeper lurking somewhere ready to kill you especially when you're trying to haul ass home with some diamond. I don't know, it's a zombie in this case. But I have no zombie messing with me. More zombies. I think I found a spawner. Definitely found a spawner. Let's just kill all these zombies. Neutralize this spawner. Stop by putting torches on it. Zombies can't spawn, or any mob can't spawn when they're so. Make a note of where this location is. On Tech It, you can set waypoints. There's one of the mods in it. Uh, set a waypoint, a zombie spawner, if I can spell properly at this point. See, I told you there's always a creeper around somewhere ready to creep you. But it ain't gonna get me. My sword's too fast for him. Okay, so now I'm gonna follow my original waypoint of home back to home so I can get there. Here's something that I've only really just noticed. The two times Minecraft music is quite good. I like this. Let me see if I can find the file in there, speed it up. It's almost as good as my mining music this. Now there's something there that you might not have seen if this was going too fast. I found a family of Endermen. Now there was two Endermen there, just you know, out for a stroll, having a peaceful night. They did actually teleport together. 
Now I've slowed it down here so you can have a look for yourself. Not the teleporting, just that this family of Endermen. It's, it's really sweet. They might be out taking their little Ender child for a walk. Oh.